Okay, ma, please let's meet you. I am Dr. Patricia Woodiger Bono. We are the Equire Logo of Equire Edding Nation. Okay, ma, we happen to understand that this is your son. Yes. So, can you tell us how this um, spill has, in, has affected you at the Logo Farm? As you can see, this spill has damaged everything here. Look at the pond here. Mm. We have a lot of about 14 ponds of this size here. And it's just like this. And uh, the economy trees, you see them rooted by um, the oil. Mm. And most uh, unfortunate now is this fire that I don't know what will happen at the end of the day. Uh, mm. The fire you can see is at my friends there. And unfortunately, mm. the most unfortunate thing is this has been reported. I noticed this one uh, that is the spill on my the oil on my farm in December. Mm -hmm. When we came for inspection after the flood, never came for inspection to assess uh, the damage by flood. And surprisingly, I saw that it was not only flood problem, oil was all over the place. And I got to know that there was spill there, you know, by this side of the farm spill from shell pipeline occurred in June, about June, also about August, and it was not cleaned up, or if it was cleaned or not properly cleaned up. Well, whatever happened, I can't talk about that one. All I know, I noticed spill on my farm, and I wrote immediately to Nozra and DPR. I want to place on record here that, um, I personally, it's my opinion, it's my experience, I am not satisfied with attitude of DPL to report like this. We've written them several times, even before this spill, this particular one in my farm. DPL has not taken a single action, not even costly to reply to the letters. But on the other hand, Nosra has been very proactive. You write them and they will reply you. They will call for a meeting, both here and Abuja. So when this one occurred again, as a follow up, because when I was talking about a fair land being impacted, the oil companies, multinationals, were trying to argue. They prefer to deal with uh, the host communities. And I said, you cannot be talking about host communities when you talk about pollution. Because if you talk about air pollution, the wind are there. The wind is there to disperse your pollution. If you talk about oil spillage on the, on the ground, the water is there to disperse it to every nook and cranny. So when this one happened, I said, okay, now there's no oil uh, well here. There are no pipelines here. But because you have spill nearby, the flood had taken it here and destroyed all my things. So I wrote to them as an example, a perfect example of my argument of imparted community. And as usual, like him, the DG ordered the zonal office here to come for inspection immediately. It did not take them weeks to do that. They came for on the spot inspection and they ascertained that there are oil fields here. With that, they wrote to Shell and Ajib. Because my complaint was against Shell and Ajib. Now, that complaint was because on this side, you have Shell pipeline here. Yeah? You have Shell um, uh, listen, spill here. On the other side, this is my right hand has if I'm facing the, 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 the road here. We have a jeep uh, flow station at Akalulu. When the flood came, the flood pushed everything to this place. If you have you've gone through my fence, you saw that you that the fence we are pushed inside, meaning that the force came from outside. And you see the oil there. And at a jeep uh, flow station at Akalulu you always have their waste pit without bond wall. So every uh, flood period, the flood just takes it everywhere. That is why I included Ajib. Then on this side, of course, you see again that the wall, 
fell inwards, showing that the force came from outside. And you can see oil both at the end of the fence, I mean, back of the fence, and inside, because the level of water was actually high. So that was why I included Ajib. And to, I mean, to, to, to be fair to Ajib, when Deep, uh, Nozra came for the inspection and saw the oil marks, you can see them everywhere, they found the fence there everywhere in the water. They called for a meeting. Ajib attended that meeting on the 4th of January 2021 this year. But Shell, SBDC, did not come. Instead, they gave whatever excuse they gave. In that meeting, we agreed that we will come for inspection. Something that baffled me was the argument that ensued. Ajib claimed that it was not, uh, they, 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 they practice uh, safety or whatever rules, you know, very well. And I showed them the video of that year pit, you know, and how it had been devastated. How you can see the oil everywhere. And we now agreed to come for inspe joint inspection of Nazra, Shell, and Ajib, and myself as the communities, you know, the following week. Believe you me, wickedly, a day to the, I mean, a few days to the a date of inspection, by the time we got there, a mysterious fire has engulfed the whole, the whole forest, just as we are witnessing here, as though they could cover the the evidence. Okay, ma, when, when was supposed to be the... When are the, the inspection date? When, when the inspection date was... Um, when was that again? I don't know often. Give me the date, please. But Shell did not come. Only to come in this last Saturday. That was about quarter after nine. I received a call. As usual, I picked up calls. A young man said, oh, that is from DPRO and they are supposed to go for inspection. I said to where? He said to uh, Adekwe Logos farm, to Lokobo. This all these communities here, Okobe. I said, how? Did you inform them? He said, no, they are just ready now to go. I said, you are talking to Adekwe Logo. I'm, I'm one of the DC. I wrote the petition. I wrote one of the petitions, they also wrote. You have not informed me. Did you inform them? No. I said, SPDC wrote them. And uh, therefore, yeah, I said, nah, you are just taking one away. Is that a clear problem? So, how would you think they would feel if they notice that you are in the bush? 10th February. That was the meeting. No, the, 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 no the, the day for the day for inspection. The inspection. The day they came for the inspection. Okay, well, after the meeting on the 4th, yeah, on the 4th then yeah. we came here 10th February. Mm -hmm. Then last uh, Saturday was what? Give me the last Saturday when this argument was this thing. And I said no. So, I called the, the head of uh, HSP also in DPR. To find out if she actually asked the young man to call me. And she said yes. As, as if you asked her to call me, there's no letter. All I request is give me invitation letter. Last Let me. Okay. Let me go and inform others. And it's okay, they will they'll hear from me this okay. week. No. This the week. Last Saturday was printed. This week no. is this is what no. we no. experienced. No. Mysterious fire again. Attempting to close all the distance. I mean to clean all the evidence. So what I'm trying to see, what I want to put on record is DPR in River State here, as concerns at bear, are not doing their work. Either they are collaborating with these multinationals or it's just act of negligence and inefficiency. Because they are expected to um, direct any uh, uh, multinational that has spill to clean this bill within a short space of time to avert what has happened. It has happened here, it also happened in the Ajib section. And let us uh, assume that they are not responsible for the fire. But the consequences of the fire or the Ash River is because of their negligence. If they have cleaned the oil the, the way they're supposed to clean it, you will, it, the, 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 the uh, effect, the devastation will not be as much as it is now. Now it was only fire, uh, oil, it was oil, now fire inclusive. So even the, 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 the echoes, there is the animals, the faunas and the flora that try to survive have now been damaged more. Mark, can you quantify your loss? 
my loss i will start with the trauma okay. can anyone quantify the trauma i'm passing through no so it starts with that so they cannot estimate it but however when it comes to physical distance i believe in professional evidence when i'm making my argument i don't like to have my evidence i've consulted environmentalists and professional uh, estate valuers they will give the debate the entire area is over 60 hectares of land so as for quantifying it it's very very distant difficult but however you can see the loss yourself at the appropriate time um, the relative cost but not absolute the relative estimate of the damage will be stated but lastly now what do you really want right now what i really want last uh, right now is justice you have extant laws that guide the operations of these multinationals they are practicing it in other areas but unfortunately when it comes to a pair here take for example what i'm saying is on record both at dpro and both at Nozara. I said they don't have any safety measures put in place in the bear land. We are they have a greater percentage of their oil activities. Nigeria is an oil producing nation because of Niger Delta. In Niger Delta, River State is one of the high ranking oil states because of Ahuda West and other local governments. But look at us. Not even a firefighting equipment. I have said this in Nozra, I have said this and in DPR. In fairness to the man in, in charge of Nozra, in fact they asked him a question. Do you expect that somebody who has stomach ulcer resulting from your pollution should run to come to UPTH before he's treated? This woman is not asking for the ordinary, sustainable things. Hospital, firefighting equipment, they claim they have. Now this fire has been burning for many days. Because there is no firefighting equipment, no firefighting measures, it's still burning. It's progressing. Nobody knows. As I live here today, I don't know what will happen to my farm tomorrow. And I want a place that if it, apart from the the oil destruction, any fire destruction, I rest it on DPR, DPR and Shell, because this oil, this time I leave and keep aside, this one is coming from the operation here, they don't have it, it's an evidence that they don't have, if they have, they would have come to stop it, go see, I've been calling them, thank God I've written to that effect yesterday again, I called them, I wrote, I sent the videos, nobody is talking to me. Nobody is talking to anybody. Federal government should know. Tomorrow they say, oh, the people are violent. Look at it. This is the work of somebody. The, the, of somebody. A plan, something you plan for retirement. I retired as a permanent secretary. And I gradually was putting up this place. Even with loan with Agri Bank. When I retire, I will do this. But look at them. Look at the economy plants. Look at that. Uh, you know, uh, I, I can see that palm, palms are very resilient. That palm was pregnant. That is like killing a pregnant woman. With about 20 bunches of, of, uh, uh, of palm fruit. But it didn't survive. All the, all the, all the fruit had died. So federal government, please, West Africa, I mean, West, uh, Ahuda West, will belong to Nigeria. DPR, you do your work. I want to tell federal government that the man you put at the helm of affairs of DPR is not doing his work. Either he doesn't know his work, or he's I mean, uh, compromising. If he actually knows that he's placed there to handle emergencies like this, somebody will write you SOS. Not one, not twice, not thrice. And you've not done anything. Either she doesn't know her job, or he doesn't know his job, or they are compromising. So thank God you have come. And I want the world to see. When they say Niger Delta is violent, look at what they are doing. This is their work. 
they go out and write all the fake reports to the headquarters. I'm calling on the headquarters of Shell. We are at the Hague and uh, Bono, uh, uh, Gabon, is it? I'm calling on them, place on record. Headquarters of Shell in Hague and Gabon. The reports that Shell, your officers here, are fake. They use us to make budget. You approve the budget, they don't use it. Look at just mess cleaning up. Or spill their wear. They prefer to come and burn it. You will say, how do I know? Why won't I know? Why would the fire be mysterious? Why will it fire come? The day we came for inspection, we are to come with uh, 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 Nozla, Egypt, and Shell on that 10th of January. Is there a shell coming? What we noticed that day was fire. A serious fire there. Because they could not uh, uh, destroy all the evidence. Now this week again, they have intended for another uh, inspection. What we are seeing is fire again. How do I call it? And even if I don't see who did it, if they have cleaned up, this fire will not be there. It will not be this devastated. It will not be this devastation. So please, federal government of Nigeria, Hague, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, Gabon, the headquarters of Shell in Nigeria, we are calling on you. This is a human. He went and let us. God in heaven, I'm also calling on him. He will judge them. Let them compromise in the office and use the money. It will not be fruitful. Yes, I'm uh, His Royal Highness is a Ekaki, S. Ekaki. I am the, the chairman of the Council of Chiefs and Traditional Rulers and also double as the king of Okobo. Okobo is the oldest area. It's Okobo clan in Ibuduya Kingdom. Ekpe Ethnic Nation, Ahoda West, Edgy, River State. Yes, what uh, play out here is really pathetic, and uh, we are surprised that uh, up to this time, Shell has, and Egypt has not come to compensate with uh, our people. This is a uh, Adai Pelogo uh, farm. This farm has been very, very helpful to our people. Even the traders, they come here, companies, they come here, they fish, they buy, fish, and go to their various business. And you can see the whole of that forest, our people, we grow mostly in fishing and farming. As you can see, the farm, the, the forest is well uh, affected by the, majorly affected by the flood. So we are calling on the SPDC and Nigeria Nigerian oil company to come to our aid, clean this pee, so that our people can, I mean, feel a uh, sense of belonging, because uh, it is very bad that this oil is still uh, uh, in the forest like this, so it's a thing of uh, pains, pains our people a lot. So that is my own advice, humble advice. Okay, sir, with this fire now raging, don't you think it will affect the veracity of the... The this fire pain? has rendered our people, our farmers, homeless and useless because the whole forest, as you can see, is being destroyed by this fire outbreak. So we are calling on SPDC, Nigeria Energy Oil Company, as a matter of urgency to come to our aid, to commence immediate remediation and reasonable compensation to our people. Because when this oil occurred, as I'm talking to you since last year, the oil has been I mean, uh, impacted the whole area, and uh, our people have been suffering for uh, because of this oil. You know, that is the major. Sir, can place. you tell us the source? I mean, where this oil is coming from? From which pipeline? The oil, oil occurred in two major pipelines. One is the Okodia uh, Zaram mm -hmm. Okodia Rumekwe pipeline, and the other one is Nigerian Oil uh, Oil uh, pipeline. That is. Uh, Ogoda uh, brass pipeline. So these two oil, like this farm is at the center. This is shared this way. This is Egypt this way. So the pollution occurred both left uh, and right and parted the whole area. So because of what was in the situation was as a result of this uh, uh, recent flood. The flood pushed the whole oil in the area. This whole forest have been impacted because the water flows downward and settled in this area and all our farmers, our farmland was impacted. So that is why you see the thing now, every corner is being uh, polluted. Okay, sir, lastly, you know, as a monarch, 
you know, just calling on Shell to come and clean up the place and compensate. We, we all know that it's not just going to happen like that. As a monarch of this area, do you have any intention of taking any legal action against Shell? Yes, we, 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 we will not hesitate if uh, all our efforts uh, through uh, Nozra and uh, uh, DPR prove abortive. We will not hesitate to take illegal action against the multinational companies uh, if they fail to come and uh, do the needful to uh, commence remediation, clean up this area, and even the bush, the Adekwelugo farm, and all the farmlands. So we are calling on them to come to uh, avoid the uh, 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 reprisal attack because uh, our people, we are peaceful and we don't want to take laws into our hands. So that is why we are passing through this means to ensure that we draw the attention of the whole agencies to know what is happening here. Our people are suffering for a very long time. Okay, thank you. <laughs>